Welcome everyone. In this short tutorial we're going to build a class that will calculate the slope for us. So let's get started. Let's name the class. So we'll write public class slope. And we use the public scope keyword because um, we want this class visible to other classes. We'll use our open and close curly braces and then we need to write in our inst our fields so I need four variables one for x1 and x2 another two for y1 and y2 uh, if you need to you can go back and listen to the previous um, recording on setting up the slope algorithm that we're going to use in this class so we'll say private int x1 x2 y1 y2 and we can set all these fields up at the same time because they're all integers and then we're going to need a variable to hold the result of or our slope so we will say private double slope and we're not going to assign any values to any of these fields at this point we're going to wait to do that in the constructor so now we need to build our constructor so we'll write public slope remember the constructor has the same name as the class except it's, we're missing the class keyword and the constructor ends in two open and close parentheses and the signature for this class does not so then we need to um, actually we want to require the user to pass in the values of x1 x2 y1 and y2 when we construct our slope so we're going to um, create some local value variables here x1 int x2 int y1 int y2 and then these are just local variables that we use to pass in data to our constructor and then these are the variables for the class and notice that they're the same and this is not really a good idea this is called shadowing so we want to uh, name them something different and it's kind of hard to come up with different names since they're both just x1 and x1 so we might put a, a v in front of this for variable and then now they're different but it looks kind of strange with the v there um, it's not very intuitive what that is so I'm going to take them out and we're going to use the this keyword which allows us to have the same variable names so we can say this dot x1 which is our class variable up here is equal to our the local variable we created for the constructor x1 semicolon and then we'll do that for each of our four variables so we'll say this dot x2 is equal to x2 and we'll say this dot x y1 is equal to y1 and this dot y2 is equal to y2 so now we have a constructor so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save really quickly and I'm gonna save it as slope and I'll just overwrite the previous version I had in there as a trial it's always good to save every few few minutes so that you don't lose the work that you've done and now we need to write our main method which is to calculate slope so we'll say public double calculate slope open and close parentheses open and close curly braces and so we'll say slope 
is equal to and we're going to use the math class and a method in the math class for absolute value so we'll say math.abs and this is because we want to only work with positive numbers in this case so then we need to pass in our formula inside the abs parentheses so we will say parentheses this dot y2 minus this dot y1 and close parentheses now those for order of precedence so that it does those calculations first before dividing so then we'll divide by this dot x2 minus this dot x1 and because computers do integer vision inner integer division and we're working with decimals we need to do a widening conversion here and a widening conversion means that we're going to take an integer such as x1 or x2 and we're going to cast it as a double and that way we don't end up with rounding which will end up giving us dividing by zero and then what we have to do is return our slope so we can use it later and we'll put our comments in so calculates a positive slope okay and then we want to write a two-string method two-string methods um, return the state of the class as a string so we'll say public string to string open and close parentheses open and close curly braces and we'll set up a local variable called result so we'll say string result is equal to your slope is and then we'll concatenate the string literal with our slope variable and then we will also uh, end it with a period and then end our statement with a semicolon and then we want to return result and because this is a value we are going to need to use a wrapper class so we'll say double dot two string which is a method in the wrapper class to take a double which is the value held in our slope and turn it into a string and then we will also need a plus sign right there and then we can return results and I'm also missing a semicolon at the end of my statement there so let's go ahead and compile this make sure we don't have any other mistakes we haven't found and nope our compilation is complete so in our next tutorial we are going to create the slope runner class for this using this slope class and our slope algorithm see you next time